so this is the first effect second effect is this one so the idea here that we control the start frame for each pyro when it will ignite so it's not just there is interval but we can control the exact frame of the of the of the explosion like this one here start here and do a circle so let's see how this was set up because if you do a biro configure let's say blue smoke let's take a blue smoke so like this one and we add uh, a line this is the line and we make it in Z we extend the length to let's say 20 and we have 5 points so here we have 5 points let's extend it to 50 and as a viral source let's change it to keep input the points keep input service pulley source keep input from points We don't want the viral source, we want the viral burst source. Viral burst source. This is the one we want. Okay, just disable this one. No, here. If you have a look, see, they all ignite at the same time. And the way we control it is the start frame. So either you do vary, let's say by, by 5, so it's random, or shift forward, let's say by 10, so it move all of it for 10 frames, or shift backward, or use attribute. What we will do, we will use the attribute, and the attribute called is start frame. So we need to create the start frame here. Easy way to do it at your attribute triangle. We say here uh, at start frame equal at pt num. So here it will consider that. point number we can increase it to say by 10 plus 10 move by 10 or we multiply it by 10 so the distance is 10 so if we simulate And that's all, yani. Another way, yani. Let's say, like we want uh, at pt num. Maybe zero equal to fifty. Like uh, 
maybe maybe I'll come back for it so what I come up with different approach still halfway process let's say I have a line and I jitter its point so it's cut out on the X and Z I give it a black color so the color is totally black and here I have a box that I color it in red and I make it transfer transform for it across the points and I'm transferring the color attribute here I remove all the bullet points and I just keep the points one two three points this is where it starts I delete according to the color in case I need to use it so one two three here in a pop net I created the following bore so I created the three particles so they, they will have a life age also that I will use the attribute triangle here I wanted the age this just process for that see I wanted the age to be a integer number so I can modify when it is created so it will be the start frame that's the whole point of this attribute triangle all of it it took me a long time to figure it out so so I'm converting from float to integer with the rent uh, function and if the age is 1 age become 1 before that's 0 or it's then 1 it's by second then this attribute AA is 1 so now next argument if AA is 1 then at B equal at that frame so the moment this become 1 it will capture the frame and it will store it in attribute called B so see 67 67 so, but as you can see it keep on changing because in each frame the attribute is 1 so it's correct so it keep on incrementing another thing if I want to put in the array because here I created array but it didn't continue and I want to append each frame number how can we do this when I search for it but I couldn't find if anybody can help or give an opinion now what I did here if attribute double A is not equal to one please delete the point just in case uh, point zero the origin so it will be deleted okay now to solve the issue about the where am I now here to solve the issue of the frame number that keep on counting so I, I come up with another solution till I figure out that what I was thinking that if I can store all of the frames while this double A is active then I take the minimum value of all of the frame then it will give me the initial frame but still I'm figuring it out so as alternative I made a solver subsolver and in this subsolver what I did I took from the previous I was doing it as a wrangle but it didn't continue so it's just simple uh, function I took the B from the previous frame I added to the new frame and I give it a new name and I kept I didn't delete the previous uh, attribute so at the end I will have two name B and new B and so here as you can see B and new B new B is the previous frame so it's minus one frame so this is at frame 70 delete 70 and the previous frame 69 then with another wrangle I said if at B here let's go here you say if 
at p is not equal zero so it's created and also this argument need to be correct at p new is equal zero because if you go like this p I just move see before that it wasn't here now here it was the first point created so the previous frame is zero because there is no information so it's zero so if this condition met because if you move another frame like here it will be 48 and 47 okay so if this condition met and a1 i store it in a1 a1 is this one so it's correct here nothing here is correct then if it's that's the like issue remove so so this create this point is created for one frame see then i added another pop net and in this pop net I just initiated small another points that will uh, fly through the air like this again just to make sure we have the data here and in the bio burst because without this uh, wrangle and this pop net this will be just like this walking through time frozen it's like uh, frozen but like with this uh, movement it's working like normal uh, first node then I rasterize and I did the pyro solver so this is the second uh, simulation it is a circle give the black color the same in this circle I did a curve so the curve start like this and I sweep it with a box and I transfer the attribute of the color and I did the all the same thing and this is the final let's watch it again like this first explosion second explosion I didn't continue simulation the third explosion is there and then this is the circle see you can see it it's very quick because I want to do it in a small range of a frame so that's how it is hope you like it please comment and uh, if you have a better idea just let me know next up uh, simulation will be mm, I'm thinking it's uh, if I have a particle system and I want to do the same thing so I'm th uh, thinking about maybe the, the impact data like impact hit or hit frame to accumulate it and make the animation for that one we'll, we'll think about it now for my next uh, video it will be about this running simulation still I'm rendering, rendering it just give you a heads up soon I will upload it also I'm just rendering a couple of frames so I can include it but this is like a sneak peek thank you very much